I'm honored to be part of this exhibition. Fire can be shown in two ways. One is uh, like a destruction side and the other side is uh, creation side. I took fire as a medium and uh, using fire to make my own artwork and uh, I'm so glad I could show to people what I did. My name is Mirang Wan and um, I was born in Korea and came to U.S. in 1976. I'm a naturalized citizen and um, I have been a uh, professional artist for the last um, 40 years already. So after my college in Korea, South National University, I went to, to France and then there's the first show I had there and then there's a, lots of museum uh, participation and came to U.S. I did uh, many museum shows, included the uh, uh, Asian Art Museum. Uh, as soon as I moved into uh, California, I really amazed by the light and the beauty of the sunshine and its energy is so intense and abundant. And I always wanted to have, how can I capture that amazing energy into my artwork? So many things is kind of light. I really amazed and I wanted to interpret in my own language to recreate the beauty and energy I see in the nature. I'm using stainless steel mesh as my main medium. I tried many different mediums before I landed on the stainless steel mesh. I love uh, the stainless steel mesh is because the metal itself is light, it's tightly woven, very thin. It's almost transparent since it is thin and it, it's luminous as the metal. You know? so, for me to recreate, recapture the natural lights into my art, this medium fits well. So I purchased in, in roll of the uh, mesh, and then I hung from the ceiling. And uh, when, when it's uh, from top to bottom, I hung like a drape. And then I look at it, it's kind of a blank. There's nothing, but I see already there's lots of reflections and there's lots of colors in my mind, right? So with a torch, uh, it's a lit uh, torch, and I started to make lines slowly, and it's very free lines. I make uh, lots of free line, lines, and it overlaps, and, uh, and then as I'm doing calligraphy with the sumi ink, it's kind of a slowly doing it, and just uh, very free lines, irregular lines, but it started getting overlapped and doubled, and then slowly it makes some kind of a shape. When I'm doing that job, uh, I'm wearing the um, eye uh, protective gear, so in fact what I see is uh, nothing except the tip of the flame of the torch. So when I continuously doing it, all I see is the tip of the flame moving around and very soon I feel like the tip of flame is pulling me somewhere that I didn't expect it or somebody else there as I'm making lines for me. So it became like a um, uh, very, you know, a meditation process for me. Slowly, all those lines that I made take shapes. And most of them, the shapes are from the nature. And I usually try to get uh, large uh, images because that's how I see in the nature. If it's not the small flowers, a small tree, but it's like freely moving and shining in the energy and moving and growing. This is a part of the installation uh, named uh, Light Reports. And uh, I have uh, 15 of this small 
uh, two-dimensional artwork. Uh, it's eight inches by eight inches. How it was made was two layers of uh, uh, stainless steel mesh. The top one, particular this one, this one is the torched one, and then the in, the the underneath of the layer has acrylic painting on it. So when you overlap one on top of it, since it is a very fine and thin layer of stainless steel, it shows the colors behind. And since the metal itself is luminous, it gives a very interesting effect. And um, people are kind of intrigued of how, where the colors coming. So, uh, and then I explain how it is, and they're all kind of, wow, yes. <laughs> that's good. I would like to have the visitors, uh, when they see my work, they get kind of uh, intrigued by what they see because the materials and the way, the medium that I'm using is non-artistic mediums and method. And then they could see with that medium and method, uh, they can see the still beautiful, sublime beauty of the nature that we can see outside in the nature. That if they can do that, I would be really happy. And that's what I wanted to show.